Good evening, YouTube. It's Saturday evening, 11.15 as you can see. I'm just sitting here chilling in the front of the farm. It's actually getting a bit too cold, I might have to put a t-shirt on. It's on the slower speed as well. It's actually not a bad fan. I'm sort of regretting throwing the front cage of that away. I thought it was partially causing the rattle. Uh, I had quite a busy day, actually. I had a couple of young lads ring my door buzzer about lunchtime-ish. One to know if I wanted a racing bike frame, cheap. It's a vintage one, because the lad was going to do it up himself, but um, he sort of took on a bit more than he could chew, so to speak. Uh, that's a bit too much for him because it was just a frame. There was no handlebars, no wheels, no cables, no nothing like that. Um, something I could do, easy peasy. But, uh, anyway, so I've got that out on the landing. I'm thinking of completely stripping the paint off, respraying it, and turning it into a single speed. Because I know um, it's quite a popular one that people like. Uh, or I'll sell the frame as it is, I'm not sure. I haven't decided. Uh, what else? Uh, a friend of mine popped up. He buggered off his bike Friday. He was on a bike ride. And uh, it, it uh, knocked all his front brake. Um, I've done something to his front brake so it wouldn't work properly. Pulled the brake cable a little bit. So I sorted that out for him. His mum's bike. She wanted her seat raised because for some reason, them lovely dickheads at Halfords decided to take it upon themselves to lower the seat all the way down for her. Even though she don't need it all the way down. She's short like me, but... You know... I actually think she might be a smidge shorter than me. But uh, even I don't like being flat foot on the floor. I do believe they do say you're supposed to be at least on tippy-toe. Which is why I how it there and try again. That's how I set my bikes up for myself. As long as I can reach the floor on tiptoe, that's fine. Um, so yeah, sort those out um, while my buddy was here. I'd already gone downstairs to um, sort out the shed. So I've got that little dresser, haven't I? That's now in the shed, in place. And both compartments are full, which has actually allowed me to get rid of a couple of broken boxes, so, which has actually freed up some room elsewhere in the shed. And I just reorganised it all, basically, and it's actually a lot tidier, and I'm more organised in there now. So I can't find fuck all in there, but <laughs> it's a lot more organised. <coughs> Uh, what else? My cousin was on the phone to me earlier. He's having PC problems. He couldn't get... Well, what he'd done, he'd reset his PC back to factory settings. In doing so, it had taken off any pro extra programs that were installed, like Firefox and Google Chrome. And being Windows XP, it had a shit version of Internet Explorer. Not that that was actually ever a good one. And we'll say an outdated version of Internet Explorer. So, sites like YouTube and Facebook, every time you tried to go to them, it would just say, page not, cannot be displayed. So, I thought, hang on a minute, I've had that sort of thing happen to me when I've played around with Windows XP. So I told them to type in Firefox and go to the Firefox website. That actually brought that one up. I said, we'll download Firefox. I said, well, he wanted Google Chrome. So I said, we'll try that one first. 
page cannot be displayed. So I said, right, we're going to have to do it the long way. I said, we'll download Firefox, which he did, and he tried to install it, and then it t um, the installer said, Firefox needs Windows XP Service Pack 2 minimum to run. So he's, pr he's got the first version of Windows XP, what well, he did have. He's um, found a disk in with all the other stuff he got with the computer that says Windows XP Service Pack 2. So he's going to install that either tonight or tomorrow, and uh, we'll have another crack at it tomorrow. Uh, well, I've had a friend, another friend of mine phone me twice, usually because he's friggin' drunk. I suppose whether he's drunk or not, it is nice that he phones me. <laughs> Even if I can't get much sense out of him. Um, actually, the second time he phoned me, it wasn't too bad, but his phone was crap. It was all mumbled and muffled and the first time. I think that's why he rung me back later on in the, in the day. So, you know, I've had quite a busy day. Uh, had an accident with that spray can. I thought I'd spray it on that Jaguar racing bike frame. <laughs> Didn't put anything on the floor, did I? Got that road board as well. And uh, stunk the flat out with spray paint. So, yeah, that was the dumbest fucking thing I've done in a long while. Yeah, I won't be doing that again. And I don't recommend doing it either. Right. So I've got my little uh, experimental home in the corner there. <laughs> Completely built with large Lego panel pieces. I just got bored using the traditional bricks. So, I decided to experiment. It was literally an experiment. I didn't intend to keep it, but I've actually grown to like it. So, uh, I thought I'd put it up in this corner and start giving it a little garden and whatnot. I need to do something just to finish off that red garden wall and add some tile up to the front door just to make it look like a little garden path or something might have enough grey tile left, I don't know you can use some other colour I suppose some random colour in there I don't know what colour I've got oh there's a few light grey in here, I've got dark red, I could use those White, green, <laughs> black. Could throw some black down. That was such a simplistic little house though that I built. Look at this. Lamps in the way, so bear with me for a minute. That's the upstairs bedroom toilet. Literally. Downstairs is living area, kitchen area to the back, and literally a walk-in shower. Fuck it. My ladders just fell off. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'll sort that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually want to drink, but I know if I drink that, I'm going to set off my heartburn again. I just had two of these. And that has eased it off a hell of a lot, so I'm not keen on drinking that. Because it's just going to start it off again. Yeah, I had two, what are they called? Ripple? Galaxy Ripples? Um, really bad idea. I'm actually um, going to cut chocolate out altogether. Because I've actually noticed when I do eat a chocolate bar, not a chocolate coated biscuit as much um, but an actual bar of chocolate, I do get a lot of heartburn um, 
which is also an indication of lactose intolerance, believe it or not, along with the squits and other things. So, yeah, I've actually decided I'm going to rule out chocolate and see what happens. That'll probably benefit me for two reasons. One, because I won't be in taking in any lactose. And two, it'll benefit my diabetes, because I'm naughty. Not as naughty as my stepdad, though. But still, there's a lot of room for improvement. I'm not going to stop drinking my Coca-Cola, though. Hell. Some people drink alcohol, some people take drugs, and some people smoke cigarettes. I drink Coca-Cola. <laughs> Mind you, I have seen how Coca-Cola stains a glass when you reuse it like I do. I just hope it doesn't stain my insides <laughs> like that as well. Cares if I fucking does. I don't. That's what I want to talk about. I watched a McJuggernuggets video this morning. Um, and he was talking about secrets of how to make it big on YouTube and how to make lots of money. There's a lot of pe I've heard lots of smaller YouTubers, well, bigger than me, but smaller than like. McJugger Nuggets and PewDiePie and whatnot, so you know it's not possible to make a living on YouTube. Well, I think PewDiePie and McJugger Nuggets and whatnot and Barnacles and Chris Perillo would probably disagree with him on that, or with them, I should say. Because that is their living. Well, actually, I'm not sure about Barnacles, but. I know for PewDiePie, McJugger Nuggets, and Chris Perillo, at least, it's a living. Um, but, just like anything else, if you're running your own business, you've got to be prepared to put that work into it. And I know McJugger Nuggets videos were all fake. I prefer to use the word scripted just because it sounds better. Um, but he still put that work and effort into making those videos. I'm not sure if he's actually told us the reason why he kept it secret and let everyone believe they were genuine. I can't. I don't actually know why he did that. None of that matters, really. I know he's probably lost subscribers because of it. Mm -hmm. I actually did stop watching him for a while. I restarted again around about the time he got arrested by that cop in that shop. And I think he was working in that shop. That's sort of roughly when I started watching again. Because it weren't that many months after that that um, he ended the series and uh, came clean about it. Uh, but yeah, I... I suppose it was a good illusion, you know, making everyone believe it was genuine. But, uh, yeah, him and Chris Perillo and PewDiePie, they put a lot of work and effort into their videos. Every day, almost. So they release a video almost every day for content. Um, I mean, I don't think my channel will ever be anywhere near a big YouTube channel. I've only got 104 subscribers. And that keeps fluctuating around that mark as well. Um, but I really don't know what to do to make my channel better. Get another better camera, of course. But I mean, content-wise, what can I do? I would like to do something better, that doesn't include 
talking to a fucking camera like this every day. Because that gets boring. I know I like to chat. I know I can ramble, but it's probably boring. I would still do the videos like this, but I want... I want to do content as well, but I'm just stuck on what I'd want to do. I could do bicycle videos. Or... taking random stuff apart videos, or both. I could do a mix of everything like that. Um, but do them... well, I actually do. It's already on my channel, so... But what I could do is perhaps do them sort of videos a bit more frequently, if I could. One reason I don't is because it I never come across the gear. <coughs> um, I don't do it for the money anyway, I just do it because I like picking up a camera. <laughs> I mean, I've currently got £8.97 pence in my AdSense. And that is what I've earned since last November. When I got my la my first and my last AdSense payment of sixty pounds. I think I've read somewhere that it's about a hundred dollars in Canada is their threshold. So it's about sixty it is sixty pounds here. Um so basically if you haven't earned at least sixty pounds at the end of the month it just rolls over, that amount just rolls over to the next month, and so on. And uh, they'll pay out as soon as you hit that threshold. But so the only reason I became, what was it, a YouTube partner or whatever they call it, so I could get the AdSense is just so I can get my fair share, if you like. <coughs> Because technically YouTube are using your videos to place the adverts. So I just feel it's fair that you get we get at least something for it, even if it is like for me probably about ten pence a video. Maybe not even that, probably about five P on some videos. But it's as I say, something's better than nothing. Or something's better than a kick in the teeth. Is the other one I like to use. <coughs> so I'm not a greedy person, so as soon as I next hit that sixty pound threshold, yay! But uh, I am trying to do it with two YouTube videos. I've got two hundred and thirty-five on the Lego channel. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, and, uh, um, he just replied to that video I did on those, um, road lamps. Yeah. Dorman Smith Traffy Lamp and the JSP Steel Flash I bought. Anyway, let's go just check. 235 subscribers on my LEGO channel. Which... I'm following... I don't know where the hell that was. I'm following um, other LEGO channels. It does seem to be about the average for the smaller channels like mine and the newer channels. Actually, I'm following channels that actually have less than me. And I'm now trying to do at least, if I can, two videos a week on that channel. If I could, I'd do more. And start using that one as the main channel. Uh, and of course, to get myself out there and recognised, I do try to comment on other videos. That's something I'd recommend doing as well. Commenting on other YouTubers' videos. It doesn't matter if they're big or small. Every little helps. But uh, if you comment on them, people will see your YouTube name and they might, if you're lucky, check out your channel. Oh. 
So um, yeah, I would actually recommend you know try and get yourself put out there, not just shout outs from other YouTubers, but uh, you know conversing with other YouTubers, discussing etc etc etc. Uh, sometimes just uploading videos isn't really enough. Fair card is even already, it's too early. Besides, they'll need to sleep. Well, they won't be leaving yet, because they only go about eleven miles up the road to the next destination. <laughs> I actually haven't been to the fair in town for a couple of, well actually for quite a few years now. I just don't see the point in going on my own. You know, Billy no mates. No thank you. I was going with a friend or something, or perhaps family, yeah I'd go. But I just don't want to go anywhere like that on my own. I just, boring. Same with long bike rides really. I'd rather go on a cycle ride with someone, so I've got someone to talk to. And that just makes it less boring. Mind you, I've got my MP3 player, so I can almost take that. If I have done. What do you want, Kit? <laughs> right, 20 minutes. I've gone slightly over my time. I'd like to keep them to at least 20 minutes. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, oh, I'll be at Mum's tomorrow, I hope. Um, she's on a night shift, so she's working right now. And she was going to go home, get some sleep, and then come back, sort of, around about lunchtime-ish, and, uh, pick me up, and probably get something from, for dinner from Lidl. And I might see if we can just swing around via the recycle centre and uh, in the vain hope there's something there. I'm not counting the chickens though because there's been fuck all there for weeks. Although funny enough, Biggles find stuff. And bikes. Funny that, isn't it? But uh, <laughs> I won't go into that. Anyway, as I said, thanks for watching and... Uh, if I don't do a video tomorrow, I'll do one Monday, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye!